Guys, this AI stuff is absolutely nuts. If you still haven't used tools like Midjourney to design your websites, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I'm gonna share with you three websites that were designed by Midjourney, and I'm also gonna show you the exact prompts that I used to create these beautiful websites. Let's dive into it. My first Midjourney prompt was a colorful landing page for a company selling popsicles. Light mint, light pink, and light yellow color scheme with cool abstract textures version five. And this is what Midjourney came up with. And honestly, I really like all of these different options. I feel like it gave me some good variations. We've got some really creative visuals. We've got great section layouts, some good variation that I can pick and choose what I like from this. And so overall, this first pass was really good. Now, the one thing that I felt like it was missing was still a little bit of depth. I feel like all these pastel colors kind of blend together. And so I wanted to make one slight variation on the style. So what I wrote this time was light mint, light pink, and light yellow color scheme with cool abstract textures like zebra and cheetah print. And with that slight adjustment to the prompt, this is what it came back with. Adding these black patterns really brought my popsicles to life. And while I loved all these different options, I ended up choosing option four, which is really colorful, it pops, I love the hero section, and this gives me a great start to designing out my popsicle website. Now, when you are creating your own design prompts inside Midjourney or really any other AI program, there are a few things that you wanna make sure that you put. So in the case of Midjourney, you're going to want to initiate the prompt by putting backslash imagine, and then you wanna tell it what you want. Be clear, be simple. Next, you're gonna to wanna to specify colors, textures, and styles to make sure that this looks exactly like you want it to. And then in the case of Midjourney, you're gonna to wanna to specify that you want version five, to make sure that you get the most up-to-date visuals. All right, now let's talk about my next design. So the prompt that I chose to use was a new landing page for a Batman movie that is very serious and intense. Batman is sitting on top of a tall building watching over Gotham City. Black and gray color scheme with small amounts of dark blue. Version five, aspect ratio 916. And Midjourney's first pass at this website was really, really cool. Now, I wouldn't say that this is a style that I necessarily like, but I feel like the output from the prompt that I gave it is really, really good. And the thing that I love about this is right off the bat, it just starts putting ideas into your mind of what the graphics might look like, the layouts, what the hero section could look like. And this web design definitely matches the intense nature of Batman. So honestly, this first pass was exactly what I was looking for. So I actually ended up choosing the first option because I just loved the way that this design looked. My favorite part, of course, was the hero section. I loved the graphic of Batman looking directly at the header and the call to action. And honestly, the rest of the section layouts were pretty solid and immediately gave me some really good ideas that I could take and implement when I'm actually designing out this website. Now, this truly is the point of a tool like Midjourney. It's not going to design a final product for you, but what this is going to do is instantly give you an infinite amount of ideas based on industry, style, color palette, ideas. You can just toss these things into Midjourney and it's gonna spit out these ideas that can inspire you to get you started on your design process. Now, with all of that said, I did feel like this Batman website was maybe a bit too serious. So just for kicks, I thought that I would see what would happen if I changed up the prompt. Instead of serious, I put very silly, unprofessional, out of shape, Pixar incredible style, and this is what it came back with, and I really like this site. I think the illustrations are really clever. The one that I picked was the fourth one that I feel like looks exactly like Mr. Incredible in a Batman suit, and just like that, you can take the exact same website, change the style, and it's going to completely change the output of what you get. And so if you're looking for something more playful, more serious, darker, lighter, no matter what it is that you want, Midjourney is going to be able to match that style and give you some pretty awesome ideas. All right, quick pause before I show you the last design. There's something important that you need to know about Midjourney. It is run inside of a Discord server, and so it can get really overwhelming when you get lost in a mountain of random prompts and random images, and sometimes you even lose your own prompts. And so what we've done is created a private Discord server for web designers only. So you're only going to see web design images you're gonna be in there with other web designers. So not only are you gonna get inspiration, but it's gonna be way less busy and it's gonna be an awesome place to connect. And it's completely free. So if you wanna join that, click the link down below, enter your email, and I will send you a private invite to that Discord server. We'll see you there. All right, so let's get into my final prompt, which was a cryptocurrency landing page showing earnings graphs, dark mode, light green accents, gold coins, line art, slanted sections, 
version 5. And right off the bat, I was pretty blown away by what it came back with. I do believe that a lot of these were pretty busy, but it's better to have these outputs be too much and too many ideas rather than not enough, right? Because I can choose the ones of these that I like, I can get additional variations on the one or two that I do prefer, and then I can just pick and choose the different design elements and sections from those designs. Now in this case, there were a couple designs that I really liked, such as this one, but in the end, I ended up going with this design. I feel like it was really professional, it was unique. I love the output that it gave me based on me typing in slanted sections. It feels like a graph, it feels like analytics, like data. I love the big graphic there in the hero section and overall a pretty professional looking website for my first go at a cryptocurrency website. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this and you want more videos on design and AI, you can click the playlist up here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.